Still out here, huh? I have a responsibility to my PTV viewers, Brian. And nothing says must-see TV like a five-day, non-stop Mr. Belvedere marathon. Gotta say, I never really cared for that show. Put out kind of a weird vibe. Shh, shh, shh. I think this is the one where Mr. Belvedere sits on his own nuts. And there's the weird vibe. This is a day to remember, Rupert. My mind control device is complete. As soon as I broadcast my commands over the fat man's satellite dish, I shall be the most powerful dictator since Dick Cheney. Uh, why the devil are you dressed like that? No, no, I, I, I'm, I'm not criticizing. I just, I just don't understand your need to prance around like a scoutmaster on Labor Day weekend. What the hell is going on out there? Bertram, did your mothers stop cleaning their carpets long enough to let you out of the house? That was a jab at their sexuality. I'm here for one thing, and one thing only, Stuart. Your satellite dish. Oh, marvelous. I see you stopped touching yourself long enough to learn how to play this thing. Well, let's get on with it. Do you see that? It means you can activate this object by pushing the button, dumbass. Too high for you? Try hitting the jump button again when you're at the top of the first jump, genius. My boyfriend, Prince William, got me this beautiful watch. I'm not a boy! Oh god, this is so embarrassing! Stewie, guess what word I'm thinking of right now? And it's not kitty. I really wouldn't know. Go on, guess a word. But, but it's not kitty. Is it kitty? <gasps> Get out of my head! My ray gun just needs one more part. Let's check outside. Just try not to step. This is Peter Griffin with PTV, giving you the Mr. Belvedere Marathon. What I'll need to get that door unlocked. Perhaps I shall use this mind control ray to force Lewis to do it. Ah! Damn! It appears the microwave is disrupting my mind control. I shall need to use an indirect method. Perhaps something involving the dog? Uh, honey, I'm doing the dishes. Ah, oh, what's that smell? Well, my, my, Mr. Hoover's come to visit. <laughs> Lois, this is not funny. I, 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 I really don't... I don't like this. I must find a way to reach the roof in order to confront Bertram, and then perhaps work on a sweet tab. I knew you're new at this, but what about targeting our enemies with a lock-on feature? It's there for a reason. Ah! Ah! Oh god, my lawn! That's not what I meant by a bush cut! Damn it! My taco's ready, so is what I got. Excellent! One of my sky hooks. Good thing my bribes at City Hall paid off. Hey, don't forget to put in these hooks. Why? Because some infant gave me a hundred bucks. Ah, it's one of those cutaways like you see on television. However, this is a video game, so they are interactive. Succeed, and I'll get more power-ups for my ray gun. Oof! Oof! How dare you defy me! Not so fast, Bertram. I'd rather the dish be destroyed than have it fall into your hands. Hey, keep it down up there. If that's Meg or some kind of squirrel, I'm gonna get my shotgun. Fool! I tricked you into destroying your own satellite dish. Now I can proceed unimpeded with my own plan for world domination. Where does he get those wonderful toys? Goodbye, Stuart! Okay, some kind of squirrel or Meg, stop interrupting my program. Peter! Oh my god! Brian, call an ambulance! I'll go get my purse. 
Yeah. This looks like an Iraqi trailer park. Bertram's obviously been planning this attack for some time. But what's his master plan? I must find out. Therefore, I have no choice but to shrink myself down and infiltrate his lair within the fat man's testicles. Gross. You know, I have to come out to this hospital so often, they should name it after me. Ooh, death is here. I better get to the fat man before he does. The MRI machine. Hmm, it's in use. I shall have to find the power switch. A stray blast could destroy the equipment. I must use mind control. And this little piggy went back to my place for a roofy colada. Oh, right. oh my god, female x-rays! Ah. Hey, anyone have a towel? Hey, wanna play doctor? Ugh! Pervert cooties! Hey nurse, can you examine this lump? Stay away from me! <laughs> Are you the head nurse? Oh god, I'd rather die! Oh god, oh god, why am I still alive? <laughs> This tank has a nipple. Giggity. Damn it! Still one channel open. I just need one more person. Someone expendable. Hidden pornographic scene viewable by pressing up, up, down, down, left. Huh. Horny gamers believe anything. Seabreeze? Hey! Boy, you smell... <laughs> inseminated. I can't believe you're pregnant again. God, didn't you learn anything the last time? Would you like some water? A treat? Towel to bleed on? I knew it! Arrest this dog! He violated my restraining order and impregnated Seabreeze! What? No, I didn't! He's lying! And he's not Caucasian! Oh! I'm not the father, Joe! Unless you can prove that, Brian, we gotta lock you up. Damn it, a speed bump. Who's the wise guy that put this speed bump here? It's not funny! Horowitz, I'm looking at you! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Laugh it up, guys! This is in poor taste! Okay, rule one for fugitives. Don't let anyone see you. Shadows, like martinis, are your friends. Through the room with the orcs. Up past the secret underground lab. Oh, God, that smells worse than Meg's room. Ah, oh, I feel like I'm giving birth to a brick. That's the second most disturbing thing I've ever seen. Hi, I'm Brian, and this is the first of my interactive non-sequiturs. Play this successfully, and I'll turn invisible for a short period of time. Thanks for listening. God, I wish I knew what lies ahead. Stop running, you! Why do we do these things to each other? You 
run faster than my stepdad. If I'm gonna find out who the real father of Seabreeze's puppies is, I need some clues. Looks like Brooks was here. This is part of the police file on Seabreeze. Jackpot. That guy couldn't find his ass with a magnifying glass and a map. That guard might be a problem. Maybe I can find something to distract him. Just switch this one over to the women's shower. That ought to keep them busy. Oh, yeah, baby. At last, the fat man! Now to find a way to dispatch those nurses. Damn, I hate these last minute additions. Damn, I was gonna ask her out later. <laughs> As if I don't already have enough to do. How ironic. Angel of Mercy meets Angel of Death. What the hell's wrong with this thing? Come on, die already! Damn, I hate these last minute addicts. Well, splendid! This calls for a sexy party! <laughs> Thanks to this pill, I shall have no trouble breathing inside the fat man's body. All right, let's get small. Lois? Lois? Oh, what the hell happened? All I remember is Mr. Belvedere was there, and, and I remember something whacking me in the head. Belvedere! That's it. Mr. Belvedere has kidnapped my family and for some reason wants me dead. Well, I'll have to destroy you first, you evil, crafty nanny, or, or, or butler, or, 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 or whatever kind of freaky thing you had going on there. Oh! Nice try, Belvedere. Thinks he can just take me out with one of his brainwashed henchmen disguised as a nurse. Well, it's gonna take a lot more than that to keep me from getting back Lois and Brian and Chris and Stewie and... And, uh... Oh, damn. Uh, I wanna say... I wanna say Russ? From the youngest child to the oldest nagging grandma, none shall escape my fists of fury. Damn you, Belvedere! You've corrupted both the young and the old! A man in a styrofoam clamshell? Whatever will they think? Oh, crap! Oh, crap! Ah, you bastard! This reminds me of that time I tried to open that can of tuna. If I can just win this cutaway, the game designers promised me extra hot dogs for my snack meter. Freaking sweet! Listen, girl, I gotta figure out who the real father is. So, uh, present. Wait, I do smell something familiar. Where have I smelled that before? Excuse me, sir, Channel 5's Eye on the Street. Today we're asking, who's a good boy? Uh, I am. Who's a good boy? I am. I'm a good boy. Tom Tucker. Maybe he's the father. I've gotta get to Channel 5 and find some proof. Good luck with the puppies. Try not to eat them. Click. Damn, I handcuffed myself to my desk again.
Hey, who put that lamp here? I wish we could hear more music and less talk on the police channel. What's that smell? It's either bad meat or good cheese. Hmm. Reminds me of my coke habit. Oh, sire. All right, here's another one. Life is a stage, and there is my costume. What the crap is that? Hey, look, it's a witch. Burn her. Ah, me, 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 I'm on fire. Put me out. Ah! I look like one of the kings of comedy. All right, Brian, I know you're a good dog. Just come out and I won't have to taser you. Be cool, man, control yourself. Not everything is a toilet. Whoa, I gotta be more careful. Oh God, get me out of here before I explode. Stomach, I must be careful to avoid touching the lake of acid. Sort of like when I pretend the driveway is hot lava. What the deuce? It seems my arrival has dislodged a few things stuck up above. Red carpet? I've been eating red carpet! Hmm, has the fat one been eating pine cones again? Hmm, the fat man's brain cell seems to be thinking about food. If I move these thoughts to the erogenous zone, perhaps the blood flow will shift to the testicles. But which one to use first? Come on, old man, move those legs! I'll take a boat. Now let's go. Wouldst thou take a gander underneath my crop? If y'all get hungry, there's some cottage cheese in the fridge. I'm gonna get me a spoonful now before y'all have at it. Done! Now let's follow the flow to the testicles. Am I gonna get me? I think I'm falling in love with you.
What the hell? What the hell? What the? Looks like a truckload of fire hydrants overturned right by the gate. That could buy me some time. I'm gonna need a disguise to slip past that security guard. I'll bet I can find something useful in that cheerleading van. Sometimes I stab myself with my badge pin just to know I'm alive. What? I said we sure got a mess here. Oh, okay. Why would you think I said? Nothing, it's, it's not important. What the hell are all these things? Hydrants. Hydrants? Who delivers hydrants in 2006? Uh, maybe a delivery guy who has feelings? Hey, I'm sorry. You think I enjoy this? Delivering hydrants? You think it's a freaking party for me? I'm sorry, okay? So, where were you taking these hydrants anyway? Up your bum. What? Huh? Pardon me, I'm here for the auditions. Tee -hee. Come on in and cheer stuff! Um, yes, here we go. Give me an F! Give me a U! Give me a C! Oh, wait, 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 we're going for a teen rating here. Gracious, what won't they use sex to sell? Go on in, sugar. Damn it, looks like they just finished. I'll bet Tom Tucker is already on his way back to his dressing room. I've got to get to that door without anyone seeing me. A videotape. Maybe one of these has evidence I can use. Ah, there you are. You were supposed to be here an hour ago. I'm assuming you read the script, so we're just going to do this, okay? Places, people! And action. <laughs> Heroic dog. You're too late to save little Woodrow from my evil clutches. <laughs> Help me, Heroic Dog! Oh, come on! Who puts giant smashing things in a lumber mill? Some of these blades I can duck under. This... this is not good. I finally chased you down, Mr. Belvedere Head. Head feeling funny. Black folks leaving in their car. Haven't slept in five days. Woozy. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's Rufus Griffin, the soul brother who keeps things smooth and real and smooth. Go. Better run, Belvedere. Rufus Griffin gonna beat you with his funkiness. I'm telling. Ah, you bastard! Ah, you bastard! How will I live this down? Don't rot your brain with these jive games, kids. Let me bash him out instead. Nice try, Belvedere, but I don't follow the man's rules. Show your face, Belvedere! Cause I'm gonna mess you up worse than breast augmentation surgery messed up that one formerly hot chick who was in that movie where that Jewish kid stuck his thing in a pie. Five hundred tickets to the one who brings me his head. Ow! Ow! What the hell is going on? <laughs> hell is right. Oh, hell no! Oh, crap! Hey, stop it! Hey, stop it! Oh, crap! Bring it on! Belvedere done lost his head! <laughs> Damn! Belvedere done... Ah, you bastard! <laughs> oh, it's time to rock the house!
Okay, Mr. Belvedere, you've escaped me so far, but I'm on to you again. And it looks like now you're over at the Indian Casino. I will see you there, my evil nemesis. Right after one short game of virtual stuck behind a bus. On oh, my stomach again! I'm beginning to feel like a toboggan. I just need to work my way down the lung, through the bladder. Oh, dear God. An Eames chair? How the hell can he afford an Eames chair? Chapter 1. Killing Stuff. Oh my, this chair is orgasmic. Oh, I hope these diapers absorb semen. Oh man, Jolly Farm Review? When will American television stop ripping off the Brits? First men behaving badly, and now this? There's nothing better than a full bush. Ah, oh, I miss the 70s. And action! If one of you little brats breathes on me again, you can kiss your ears goodbye. Cut! God, you are such- Great! Another of those tapes. Uh. I'll never get past those guys without creating a distraction. Maybe if I dropped a sandbag on that stone-eating limey. these things out Oh jeez I didn't mean to Oh my god what a terrible accident I I should go I've mostly done modeling and some internet stuff but I'd really like to be in something where I don't have to wash my hair afterwards I really think you've got the perfect face for TV, stage, the big screen, and I only take a 60% commission. Those two are blocking the door. I have to find a way to move them. Hmm. Time for an old-fashioned crank call. Would the petite blonde actress wannabe please call the clinic? Uh, apparently you got an infection from a late actor that we cannot reference for legal reasons. Hey, I've got to talk to a guy about not getting herpes. I'll call you. Tom Tucker's dressing room is at the end of this hallway, but there's too many guards. Maybe I can slip through these side doors. Uh, I asked for a bowl of green chocolate candies. Yes, they're here, but I asked for forest green, not seafoam green. Yes, I know I can change them to forest green just by touching them, but that's not the point. When Jesus asks for forest green, he means forest green. Capiche? You know, after dying for your sins, the least you could do is get me the right color candy. That's it, the Plague of Locusts is back on. Is that intern back with me, Rum, yet? I'm starting to get the shakes. Smells like Vitalis and self-hatred. But it's the wrong scent. That must mean Tom Tucker's not the father. So who is? The dog track. Seabreeze races there. It's a long shot, but maybe I could find something there to clear my name. Tom, I'm standing here wondering who left a steaming three-coiler on my desk. I see. Perhaps I'll respond in kind. 
Watch yourself, Belvedere. I'm coming for you. Goodbye, world. You won't have Gladys Anderson to sodomize with a shoe anymore. <sighs> oh my god. This is a sign. God wants me to continue selling sexual favors for money. I hear you, Lord. Hey, you looking for a patty? If you're looking for junk in the trunk, I'm a freaking SUV. Go down! I said go down! I tip my hat to you, sir. You've won this round. Ah, you bastard! Hey, stop it! And if anyone can show just call. Oh, crap! According to Bertram's book, his lair should be nearby. What the deuce? From now on, all finger painting will be done in red. Congratulations, you're responsible for my 100th reaping of the game. Here's your prize. Mr. Gutsy! Hey, buddy! Up, switch! Tag, sir! I'm a bit winded! Up, switch! How about this, Brigger? Ah, you bastard! Take this, ruffian! Tag, sir! Enough of your roughneck tactics! Oh! I'm a bit winded! Ouch! Too bad. I was hoping those guys could have told me where Mr. Belvedere is hiding. Jeez, you can never find your way out of these casinos. Uh, hey there, uh, skimps on maintenance. Uh, do you know the way out of here? <laughs> There's that freaky head again. This is not over. To the dark! Looks like the police had the same thought I did. The place is crawling with them. Gonna have to be careful if I'm gonna get through the crowd here. The father has to be here somewhere. Maybe I can get the scent off of these drop tickets. What are we protecting the mayor from again? Avocados. Don't ask. That rabbit is a real go-getter. He's won every race so far. Mm, I think I've found my new public works director. That's the kind of guy that could lock his keys out of the car. Steady now. I 
love dog races, but not as much as I love taffy. And I am a man who loves his taffy. Didn't I just leave this guy? isn't on this one. Uh, a slow clap? Really? That's more cliché than that time I did that late-night talk show monologue. Why is nothing happening? Your cutaways won't work here, Stuart. They're much more expensive in a video game and take up far too much disk space. Hmm, that's a shame. I had a pretty good bit on erectile dysfunction. Did you hear about the guy who got a Viagra stuck in his throat? He woke up with a stiff neck? <laughs> oh, my father's joke. Enough of this banter! Let's war! Careful where you aim that thing. I wouldn't want you to miss and kill your best friend. Rupert, you... See, this is what happens when you go gallivanting around in someone else's hat. Once this satellite is launched, no one will be safe from my mind control, and Rupert will spend eternity circling the Earth... alone. Not if I have anything to say about it! Splendid! That upgrade means I do even more damage! Fabulous, those glass doors only leave a small hole to fire through. Those doors of the I have tracking capabilities. I have to shoot them down. I know. I'll pretend they're the dog, and I'm every bar slut he's ever propositioned. She looks at shatter any minute now. <laughs> you, you, you know who that is? You know what I'm doing? That's you. That's what you sound like. This isn't over, Stuart. It's time we duke it out. Mano a mano. Let's say, the playground in ten minutes? Uh, let's see... Yeah. Well, I could reschedule that. Um, let's say thirty minutes, but know that it could really be more like forty-five. Excellent. I'll see you there. Here I come, Belvedere. Come out, come out, wherever you are. What the hell? I am an automaton nuclear neo-human android. You may call me Anna. I am a robot ninja from the planet England, sent here to seek and destroy Mr. Belvedere and all who stand in my way. And I can do both regular chicks and robot chicks. Yeah. Awesome. Damn, I know, don't tell what number I'm on my note, and who will undo. Halt, sandwich! Resistance is futile! <laughs> ah, you bastard! <laughs>
This is the scent. The culprit is here. But how do I draw him out? I've got it. If I disguise myself as Seabreeze and win the race, maybe he'll come to me. But how am I going to manage to beat those other dogs? What a good-looking question. And I think I might have a sexually compatible answer. Pills? Look, I don't want to host a right-wing radio talk show. And mega dittos to you, sir. Just slip these pills into the dog's food, and you can have sex with them while they're unconscious. Actually, I just want to win the race. Well, whatever you're into. Here we go. Now I just need to slip a little of this into each dog's dish, and I'll win by a long shot. Gotta be careful not to get spotted, though, by the dogs or those kennel workers. All these dogs do is bark and crap. I hate my job. Ah, oh, crap! And they're off! Out in front, it's Seinfeld, followed closely by the British office, followed by anything with John Stewart in it except Death to Smoochie. Back in the pack, it's Becker, but now Becker's stumbling badly. Becker is fading. Becker's being passed by reruns of Night Court and that infomercial with the Chinese guy selling real estate. Trailing them all, it's test pattern. That just... That's not Seabreeze. That's Brian. Arrest that dog. I'm not the father of Seabreeze's puppies, Joe. I'm innocent. Sentimental hogwash. But the real father is right here with us. And he is none other than Glenn Quagmire. What? Still less hair than a Greek chick. Quagmire, huh? Wow, I kind of thought it was going to be that billionaire. You know, the guy that used to own that cable news station and was married to that 80s workout queen. She hasn't really worked in a while, kind of long in the tooth. Well, she did have that one movie with that actress with the fat ass. Are you trying to get us sued? You there! Since you be tearing this town limb from limb, and since no one seems man enough to make you walk the plank, we've flown in one of your largest nemesises. Er, ne nemesi. Hmm. If I be remembering my Latin rightly, I, I do believe the proper word would be nemesis. Yeah, that'd be right. Fine with me. Bring it on. What's the matter? Nothing to say for yourself? You were too busy hanging out on your island to record one line for some video game? Okay, I got my shot. Let's do this! says thank you Jesus go Jesus it's Christmas go Jesus it's Christmas oh, Peter there you are Lois you escaped from Mr. Belvedere Peter, there is no Mr. Belvedere. He's just a TV character that we can use because Fox owns the rights to him. But aside from that, the actor who played him has been dead for years. 
You destroyed half of Quahog looking for something that doesn't exist. Oh my god! I'm a monster! All the people whose asses I kicked! I know you must feel bad, Peter. But maybe if you try to make amends with those people... You make a lot of sense, Lois. And not to get all touchy-feely on you, but what I hear you saying is that this is the kind of regret that is only cured by serious, hardcore drinking. I love you, problem-solving wife. This is your last chance, Stuart. Join me, and together we can rule the galaxy as brother and brother. Interesting offer. Do you have a dental plan? I... I, I haven't really thought about it. You expect me to work without benefits? I do speak English, you know. No, I think the best thing is for me to kill you. First clones are now holograms. Bertram, you get it. You're powerful. It burns before he loses himself amongst more holograms. Damn you, stay still! to rule the world if you're nothing but a big baby. Yeah? Well, I got your big baby right here. Oh, hey, man, what the hell? We may be brothers, but that doesn't mean I'm comfortable seeing your bone pony. Who's the big baby now, bitch? I've learned how to reverse your miniaturization effect. Now I'm bigger than you'll ever be. I've learned how to reverse your miniaturization effect. Now I'm bigger than you'll ever be. I heard you felt that. Time for you to die. Ah! Thanks to the hot spot I gave Bertram, I have a window of opportunity. Ground if I hope to do him any damage. Shrunk his package because he has a small package.
This is like Honey I Shrunk his packet. Because he has a small packet. Gave person, I have a window of opportunity. We've got to fight him over there by the sandbox. Of course! I must destroy the device on his ray gun to shrink him back to size. Find a way to get that gun at ground level. Now's my chance to destroy that device on his gun. I heard you felt that. Time for you to die. Give up now, and I might spare you. Damn you, stay still! Your anguish sustains me. <laughs> Very well, Stuart. You've defeated me fair and square. I have no option but to do this. Mommy! What? Oh, that is such a vagina thing to do. Maybe so. But the fact is, I live to fight another day. Until next time, Stuart, I leave you with this. Blast! Well, that was time well spent. Oh, Rupert, what a day. I just want to get home, draw a hot bath, and spend some quality time with my thoughts. No, you can't watch. I'll leave the door cracked. Well, Horace, I can't believe I destroyed the town and hurt all those people. And all to find a guy who doesn't even exist. What the hell was I thinking? Holy crap, I knew it! Wait, 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 wait. I already paid for this. Let's do this. But don't hit me in the stomach for a while. You know, because of the beer. Thank <laughs> you. 
open. Yeah, I'm fine, Lois. In fact, I learned something today. You can't always trust your feelings. Especially after watching five straight days of Mr. Belvedere with no sleep, and while constantly getting hit in the head by a very coincidentally large number of objects. Well, I learned that the dog track is horse racing for poor people. And I learned that I've got to stop over-scheduling myself. I mean, look at this. Booked solid through next Thursday. You know, there's just one thing I don't get. I know I was out of my mind in every way, but I swear that Mr. Belvedere head floating up in the sky was real. Hey, there it is again! What the hell is that? Oh, you're a hoot, Mr. Belvedere. Okay, now here's my screech. <laughs> 